All righty, we are here for an in-live construction update at Canada's Wonderland today. And as you can see right before me, we have our first teaser from Canada's Wonderland. It says, please excuse our appearance. We're working on something big. Stay tuned. And no, they're not referring to my size. I know it looks weird with me standing right next to a sign referencing big, but um, I'm working on that. But yeah, here we have our first teaser. Um, and yeah, it's really exciting. It's definitely, I love when Wonderland starts teasing early. It's definitely referencing uh, definitely something big. I'm excited. Important. So here we have our first teaser. Um, it's over in Elpin. The big question has been, does Elpin connect to Extreme Sky Flyer? And we have our answer. It clearly does. So this is really exciting. Um, the coaster is rumored to go all the way from Extreme Sky Flyer inside the mountain over here in Elpin. And then who knows, maybe even farther. So over here in the construction site, we have an electrical area being set up. On top of that, we have the old metal casting footing. If you wanna, or sorry, case on, do you wanna record that, Craiga? So we, you can reach over the fence for it. So here we have our teaser, it's over in Elpin. This has been a huge question. Does Elpin connect to Extreme Sky Flyers Puddle Well, it looks like we have our answer. The teasers being in Elpin, and Extreme gives us all that information. Over here, we have that important Wonderland site office that I always talk about. And we have this giant caisson um, over here. These are gonna act almost as a protection when they're digging their footings. It'll prevent the soil from caving in. It gives the footings extra strength. Um, and then over here to our right, we have major electrical work. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Thunder Run used to be on the ground where the fly is, and this was its station. So they're reusing that power grid that Thunder Run used to have here for this new coaster and whatever it does here. Now, if you want an Amusement Insiders exclusive, Craig, if you mind panning the camera over to this triangular fence here, this is awesome. <laughs> this is a live construction update, guys. Um, we have a footing, and I want to tell you the importance of this footing. So if you pan to the left now, Craig, to this footing here, and then if you go a little bit over to the right, it's a little more hidden. There's a pair of three footings here. This is where a supposed, speculated, rumored top hat is gonna be located. And that top hat, if Craig minds turning the camera over here, will actually exit somewhere over here. Oh, I am wrong. This is the exit of the top hat. The entrance to the top hat, I got confused by this own construction site, is actually located right over here. So right here is another pair of three footings. Now, a lot of you have been asking, Brendan, where are you getting this whole rumblings of Intamin? Now, this is a big part of that. So Intamin's footing design is very custom and unique. And um, if you look at footing designs for top hats or elements that go from low to high, Intamin has a skinny pair of footing design on their structures that they use. Now, some mock models use this. Um, another mo manufacturer that doesn't or hasn't been seen using this kind of design is Vacoma. Um, so it's a process of elimination when it comes down to this. Now, this is an important area for amusement insiders figuring out the project um, because this area, we <laughs> caught something on camera um, and it was very telling in terms of what we caught on camera. So this specific pair of footings, the three and the three, are a huge focus of Amusement Insiders figuring out this project, just to be transparent. We're gonna now head on over to Tunnel 3. You can cut it. Here at Tunnel 3, we have another teaser. Wow, big. Now I wanna explain the lettering on this teaser. So this is Old English, um, which can be linked back to Old Germany. Um, the lettering design is obviously uh, a a toot to uh, the potential theme of the new coaster. So, ooh, Thunder Run, girl. But, uh, <laughs> so we'll talk a little bit more about that in another video, but right here we have Tunnel 3 and Craig is gonna work some magic on the camera here. He's a little short, so he's struggling, but there we go, we have inside Tunnel 3 um, for uh, the new coaster. All righty, so here we have Extreme Skyflyer's old plot of land. Now this is an interesting plot of land because it could go either way. Whether it's gonna be a station area for the new coaster or an extreme element that's meant to be showcased at the front of the park. Um, it could go either way. So definitely an interesting plot of land that we'll have to be paying close attention to um, to figure out what exactly this plot of land is gonna play into for the new coaster. They've done a lot of electrical work in this area. So as you can see where Craig is filming right now, 
they dug up an old water main and then they installed a new electrical box kind of just underneath the ground here or compound is the right word. So yeah, definitely curious about how this is gonna play into our new 2025 project. Alrighty, so here's an overall view of what Elpen looks like to you guys that aren't able to get to the park today. So Craig is just gonna do some little panning shots here to show you the overall construction site. It's a lot more clustered um, than I even imagined, but uh, I like that they added some of these signs. I like all the teasers on the uh, fencing as well. Uh, so I'm really excited. What do you guys honestly think it's gonna be? Intamin, Vacoma, Mock, B&M. What do you think it's gonna be? I'm curious. Comment in the comment section down below. All right, new this year, we have Thunder Run's new exit. This new exit was added because Tunnel 3. So Thunder Run's old exit used to come out um, of where Tunnel 3 is located. So they've had to restructure this exit uh, to accommodate the ride blasting out of the mountain. Uh, so we're gonna take a quick tour of this. Hopefully there's no one coming down. This is gonna get really awkward because I've heard this is a really skinny uh, design. So we'll go check it out for you. Craig, what's, a, what's an interesting fact about you while we explore this Thunder Run? Oh, wow. It's like a maze in here. Oh, we're we gonna exit and redo this after they exit. <laughs> At Canada's Wonderland, they've introduced some new signs that are located around the park. So if you look closely, you can see these new ride signs that guide you to rides around the park. I absolutely love this. They're actually amazing and I think they look like really good. Here we have Grab and Go. So Grab and Go is going to feature a new menu that's not quite ready by the looks of it. Um, but we've heard some really good things about this new menu at Grab and Go and how it's been elevated. Over here we have Tiny Toms. So this is the new location for Tiny Toms. If you've been watching our drone updates, you know that we've been telling everyone that this is gonna be the new Tiny Toms location. So that's really exciting. A much bigger building, able to service a lot more guests. Um, so that's definitely gonna be really cool to see once it's open. So because of this new coaster coming out of the mound, it's taking up a lot of Elpen. So in preparation for this new um, coaster, we have a drink stand. This is a new Coca-Cola refresh stand that'll be located in Elpen, um, and it'll help alleviate a lot of the guest uh, complaints that have been in previous seasons uh, about not enough drink stands. So Wonderland is definitely uh, taking a huge step in adding drink stands. There's a new one in Action Zone as well that we'll go show you. All righty, and over here at Action Theater, if you've watched the drone videos, you know that there's some work going on. Whether it's selective demolition or a full demolition, uh, there's definitely signs of significant demolition going on inside Action Theater. So definitely a lot of speculation about what's gonna happen. We know that Wonderland's been surveying guests about a family attraction and area back here. So it 100% makes sense if they needed this building a part of that family expansion. So we'll keep an eye on this for you guys as the park prepares for its future enjoyment. All right, and right here we have the new Timber Kits drink stand that is being built. So this is a new refresh station that Canada's Wonderland is set up to replace the old Coca-Cola Misters. It definitely looks really good and blends in with the Frontier Canada theme. All righty, so it actually looks like they didn't add a drink stand. It looks like they removed this one and moved it over to the Coca-Cola Misters. So uh, this is now Arcade Games and the new drink stand is located over closer to Mindbuster. All righty, I keep saying all righty. <laughs> and over here we have World Expo Eatery. Um, this is gonna be a new restaurant replacing Backlot Cafe. Uh, it's gonna be set up similar to Lazy Bear Lodge in terms of how you order. And it's gonna feature food from around the world. So uh, definitely really exciting. It's gonna have a renovated outdoor seating area as well. Um, so really excited that Wonderland is going back to its old roots. So definitely curious about how this will play into the new coaster. And over here we have Griffin's Crown. So this is the new VIP area. It'll be in this shelter here that you see under construction. Um, it'll be ready to go at the beginning of May. It is not quite ready to go yet, um, but just doing some finishing touches. It'll feature some TVs and a drink stand for those of you that have uh, a drink pass. So that's really exciting. And that's about it. So you'll be able to watch some sports games and all that in this new VIP area. And they're even looking at adding some exclusive stuff, like being able to watch the shows right here in an exclusive seating area. So that's really cool. 
right over here just turn it a little bit to the left there we go we have a construction area where they're doing prep work for foundation molds for either the new water slide or the new coaster based off of its location i'm going to assume it's for the water slide and these are the forms that are going to form the pool base when they get to building that for moosehorn just so i showed you guys that Alrighty. Okay. So I'm going to go over a few things that I didn't get to in the actual live update. Hopefully you guys like that. Comment down below what you prefer. Do you prefer the voiceovers um, recorded later or do you prefer me recording with the mic in park with you? So, but as we get into it, Extreme Sky Flyers, Pot of Land, there are no markings. There's a few stakes. Nothing means anything serious yet. Um, so that is something I wanted to touch on. There is zero evidence of any markings all over the park for this coaster, but I'm here to tell you, I know that as soon as they're done Moosehorn, they will move over and start building the coaster. That is all they're waiting on. Um, here they are with, um, the bullards. You guys keep correcting me. I, I'm getting it in my head. Um, so that new area looks cool. Um, over here behind Moosehorn, they're building an electrical room, um, and it's connected to Backlot Stunt Coaster. Um, this is in correlation to 2025, but it's also above that, um, just upgrading the park electrical. This is Thunder Run's new exit. Craig, I filmed this for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was too shy to go up there and do it myself. Also, it's a little, you know, it's a little, um, fat phobic for me. Uh, it feels a little too, you know, claustrophobic. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. I do like the ending, especially here. It does look temporary, I must say, but I'm not quite sure how temporary it is. Um, here are the footings or the pre cast footings, uh, for our new coaster. So, uh, they put in some metal, ca uh, caissons in this area. It's to help reinforce the footings. Once they do go in, it helps make them a little stronger, um, and prevents it from caving in or any erosion going on. Um, so the whole construction area, uh, is definitely fenced off. The park is really teasing this big project. It covers a very large pot of land. Again, I looked everywhere. There is no evidence of any coaster signs yet, but the park has assured me that um, things will be ramping up very soon, very soon. So really excited about that. Um, and yeah, there's a lot more projects coming guys. So I did get a little bit of, uh, you know, the birdies that there's going to be construction starting on a whole separate project outside of this coaster as well as the park looks to, you know, really double down on world expo. So we're going to see a lot of construction over, you know, starting soon and going a couple years for World Expo. Um, this is a, an area that I speculate could be like the entrance to the queue line if the station is in the mountain. Um, and this area is 100% going to be some sort of coaster exiting or going over Guardian. Um, but that area definitely plays an importance to the project. Um, I was really struggling today to figure out my new iPhone. So I got a new iPhone. I got the iPhone 15. And I was really struggling to figure out its focus. So I'm going to post some pictures up instead. Um, but yeah, it, the dust also didn't help. The dust particles were messing around with my focus. Um, but I can tell you guys there is nothing of importance down there at all. If anything, over to the right, there is. They're working on some restructuring inside the mountain. So that's of importance. So a lot of steel beams have worked their way in there as they uh, restructure some of the parts of the mountain for whatever this project ends up being. Um, so, yeah, that's exciting. And here I was getting my friends to step on some of these pre-cast footing areas. So again, those little metal caissons to help with reinforcement are hidden in specific areas. And we're really done up nicely where guests are walking. Um, so you can barely tell where they are if you didn't know from the drone footage. Um, so that was really cool just being able to walk where there is soon going to be a support column. Um, so yeah, the future of this building to my left, definitely up uh, in the air. Uh, there's probably going to be a few more holes cut in the mountain. Um, but this is the area of focus. So I did talk about this, but there is an entrance and an exit to a top hat or some really tall, um, what I speculate, Intamin element uh, in this location because it shows signs and similarities to a lot of Intamin projects. And that's really exciting. But yeah, there's a lot of serious electrical work that's taken place in here in this area. And you're going to see it. There's some really thick conduit um, coming out of Thunder Run's old station and powerhouse. So it's going to be really interesting to see what they do with this area. There are signs that this is going to be some sort of German themed or old English themed coaster. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see what Wonderland is able to do with the theming. It 
that's the case, it'll really tie into Elpen really nicely having a German-themed coaster come in well. So uh, I'm really excited to see what Wonderland is up to. It was teased that there's more to this coaster project that ties into World Expo as well. So I'm really excited to see how that plays out. Um, this area looks like it literally had nothing done to it. You can't tell that there was a whole new tunnel reinforced here and a lot of uh, work. So kudos to the construction team, because if you didn't look over, you wouldn't be able to tell. Obviously you can tell by looking over, but at the guest glance, it, it looks like hardly anything even happened in this area. So yeah, um, it looks really good. Guardian is closed and not operational. Again, there is still some structural work going on. Um, so the ride is not ready. It will be ready soon. Don't worry. This isn't closed for the whole season. So don't worry about that. Uh, there's just, you know, work getting the ride ready uh, for opening. Um, outside of that, uh, nothing else to really report on. Nothing exciting here. No signs of footings. Um, but yeah, uh, the front gate is beautiful, by the way. I love it. It's definitely going to be super efficient on really busy days. So they have a lot of these really efficient metal detectors. And then you get funneled into a queue line. So you either get funneled into no uh, no check or check. And it's going to be really quick, really efficient. There's strollers um, and wheelchair areas as well. Um, in the new front gate store, they have a lot of uh, art that pays homage to the park's history. Um, a lot of stuff we haven't seen before. So that was really exciting. Uh, and um, they're, they're, you're, you're going to have to watch it all. I might actually just end the video right here. Um, and you guys just look at all the art and all the merch in the merch store and the new beautiful store. But if you look at some of these renderings, it's very like Disney-esque, this ride right here. Um, I would love to see that ride come to fruition. But yeah. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video. It's going to be the art in the store and just showcasing the store. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.